Now to a Good Morning America investigation. Heavy snows are already making roads dangerous for drivers all across the country, but it turns out that something that's designed to save us all money and save the environment is actually making the situation more dangerous. There are these energy efficient traffic lights. It seems that these new LED lights don't generate enough heat to melt the snow that falls on them. Drivers then can't see the lights at intersections. So consumer correspondent Lisa Leamy has been looking into this and she joins us live from Washington. Yeah, George, the question is, if the snow keeps falling, will the cars keep stopping? Here in the District of Columbia, they are right in the middle of converting their traffic lights to LEDs. In warm weather states, it's not an issue, but anywhere it snows, officials are starting to see some problems. During a snowstorm last year, Lisa Richter of Oswego, Illinois, had a green light and was turning left. But police say a driver in the oncoming lane blew through his red light and plowed into her, killing her instantly. Police say this traffic light, blocked by snow, contributed to the crash. The light was an energy-efficient LED signal, which doesn't emit heat, so snow doesn't melt like it would with a regular incandescent bulb. Cities and states across the country that have converted to LEDs report an energy cost savings of up to 80, even 90 percent. In Green Bay, Wisconsin, where all traffic lights are now LEDs, the recent snowfall caused many to be packed with flakes. I remember coming through it thinking, wow, that could be really dangerous. After their intense storm last month, some drivers in Madison, Wisconsin, noticed the neighborhood LEDs were hiding. So I know that the stoplights are there. Um, but if I hadn't, it would have been very easy to just fly right through them. The state of Wisconsin switched to LEDs in 2002 to achieve the massive energy cost savings. Maintenance costs are also much lower because LEDs last a long time. Incandescent bulbs usually have to be replaced every two years. With the LEDs, we have some of our heads that were installed back in 2002 still operational today. Another advantage, Joanna Bush, state traffic signal systems engineer, says the old incandescents could pose safety problems of their own. When they fail, they go dark. Like a light bulb at your house, there's no warning and it's dark. When an LED starts to fail, it's a string or two and you don't lose the entire light. To combat the problem, Wisconsin is testing out snow shields, which give the otherwise flat LEDs more shape. The snow has more of a possibility of starting to stick right there, whereas with this, uh, the wind has a tendency to want to blow the snow out of there. They run about $40 a piece. Because of the steep price, the state may initially install the covers only on its red LED lights, the color that's most vital in preventing an accident. In the meantime, the Department of Transportation uses big sticks to do the trick. People have to just learn to drive uh, appropriately for the weather. Rather than go back to incandescence, some officials see an opportunity for creative solutions like the shields and better designed visors. Officials say cautious driving is the other part of the equation. You will get your green. It's just a matter of watching the cues of the vehicles around you to find it. And it turns out that the same problem can actually happen with the old-fashioned incandescent traffic lights on the yellow signals. Because if you think about it, yellows aren't on for as long as reds or greens, so they don't heat up as much and they don't get as much of a chance to melt that snow, George. That does make sense. Elizabeth Leamy, thanks very much. Yeah.